It uh, could be a comet. It could be an asteroid. Uh, even NASA isn't sure what it is or where it came from. And so, <laughs> with Mission Impossible, we call on National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas in Montreal this morning. Andrew, what is this object? <laughs> that is the $40 million question, Brad. Uh, we are, the astronomers are pointing the biggest telescopes we have on the ground and in orbit, including the Hubble, all working towards trying to figure out what this 400-meter-wide object that is careening through our inner solar system right now, re really what it is. But we think all the signs are that it's either a comet or an asteroid. It's a, it is an, a, a solid object. And it's, uh, it's going so fast and in such a funny orbit that we think it's actually from interstellar space. It's an actual object that has traveled into our solar system. It's the first time humans are seeing an object from outside of the solar system traveling through our local neighborhood of planets. And it's a fleeting moment uh, too, Brad, because it's traveling at amazing speeds of over 150,000 kilometers per hour and we're only going to have a few days to really point our telescopes to it before it gets too far and too faint from Earth to be able to, to examine it any further. So they're, they're racing to trying to identify it and figure out where it's going and where it came from. But the idea is it's from somewhere deep from the Milky Way galaxy, mm -hmm. and it was drawn in by the gravity of our sun. And we're seeing it for the first time, probably, and for the last time as well in the next few days. Okay. So I, I want you to just answer a question that probably is occurring to many people watching this right now. And I think you've alluded to it, but there is no danger to anyone on Earth from this object. No, no danger whatsoever. We've got a great ringside seat to see it. The closest it came to us was 25 million kilometers away. That's 60 times farther away than our Earth's moon lies. So we had a safe distance. That happened uh, two weeks ago, actually. And now it's just going above the plane of the solar system. It did a hairpin turn around the sun. And now it's going above all the planets. And we've got a great view from below looking at it as it's moving away in, back into the Milky Way galaxy. Absolutely fascinating. And I love these graphics, too, showing it. So, so Andrew, most of these objects, you, you say this is an interstellar object. So in other words, this comes from outside our galaxy, right? It, it, well, it's coming from outside of our solar system. Outside it's our solar within, system, right. Within the Milky Way galaxy, which, of course, we're a part of. The sun is one of a hundred billion other suns. But it, it was trapped by the gravity of, of, the, of the sun. It pulled it in from somewhere in deep interstellar space. It wandered a little too close to our sun, and it just captured it, and it just went very close and it whipped around the sun and now it's going back out into into interstellar space out of the solar system but before it does that we want to try to identify it because this is such a once in a lifetime kind of thing it's something that we theorized we would one day be able to see but now it came to pass so this is a a really lucky time for astronomers. Oh, lucky to have you here, Andrew Fazekas, because we're going to talk more about this and what scientists are learning by this uh, relatively close pass to Earth by this object. Astronomy columnist with National Geographic, Andrew Fazekas, always a pleasure, my friend. Clear skies.